Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to break down one of the fundamental data structures in computer science, mean heap. Uh, don't work, don't be uh, frustrated by not being a computer science expert. I will uh, teach this data structure step by step. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to implement this data structure and how to use it. And in later videos, we will also implement an algorithm uh, about this data structure. So let's get started. First off, let's talk about what a heap is. A heap is a special kind of three data structure that satisfy the heap property. In the mean heap is uh, is uh, is one kind of uh, heap data structure that its uh, property is that the parent is uh, always smaller than its children. In other words, the root uh, child or the top uh, node is always the smallest element in the tree. That kind of property makes it this this data structure very useful for priority queries. In the priority quiz, you need to repeatedly access to the uh, root of the tree. That's it. Imagine you have a tree data structure here that every node uh, can at most uh, have two children and the number of children couldn't be more than two. two. And uh, here's in a, in, is an example of um, mean heap, which uh, is, is satisfying the mean heap property. Mean heap property is that every parent node is smaller than the children, and the root node is the smallest element in the tree. For example, here one is smaller than three and six, and three is also smaller than 519 yeah as as you can see here that we have also an, an array uh, which could be useful to uh, show the binary tree data structure or mean heap in a sequential demonstration for example here the the first element is one which is the first element of array and also in the tree it's one and the second element in the array is three and also it's it's uh, one in the tree <coughs> in general you can use or uh, utilize some formula to find the children of a node or the parent of the node we will use those formulas ladder in the code uh, in the next slide thank you in this java class we are going to learn the mean heap in a very easy and simple way we don't worry if you are not a coding expert or don't know anything about what I will explain everything step by step and very simple and very easily to be understand by everyone who even don't know uh, what Java is but you need to uh, still understand something about programming before uh, diving into the code the class has three properties hip arise which is consists of uh, many integer and the size and also max size uh, which is the maximum size of a heap and the size the number of elements in the heap and the array to store the heap element is the heap itself when we construct the mean heap we initialize the max size through the argument and also set the size as zero and the heap and generate an array of integer but from the max size 
uh, and then set the first element of the heap mean value this is a placeholder to help us uh, find out the parent and children very easily and it will make the calculation very very easy and fully understandable the parent of a node is uh, find out by just uh, dividing the position by two and also the left child could will be two times of the position and the right child is just two times of the position uh, added by one and also for finding that a position is leaf we just uh, uh, check that the size is the position is bigger than the size divided by two and the position is equal or uh, lower than the size in the swap uh, function we have two arguments suppose and if pose and we have one temporary element the, the temporary element is uh, find out by the heap the f pose or the index of f pose in the heap and also will be swapped by just two statements the method to insert an element is very simple we just put the element at the end of the array and also uh, uh, keep the rack of the current size or current index of the element and then check the parents with the current element if the parent is bigger we will swap it by the help of function that we have already uh, learned and also check the parent as the current because uh, we need to move the element up this process called heapify up uh, and also you can here see the extract mean which is just popping the the first element but I will not uh, go through the heapify down because it will be very hard uh, for you to understand it I will uh, explain it in, uh, in other video please first understand this uh, this video and then we will uh, go to the next and uh, we'll understand the heapify down and other operations inside the heap and I will also teach the make max heap this in this function we are checking that the heap is empty if the size is zero and we have here a method to get the number of heap it's a simple it's just simple uh, java code and the print heap is just starting from integer one and then until the size by divided two and it's just printing that's it in the main function we first uh, print the mean heap is and then generate a heap of size 15 and then insert element inside it and then print it and that's it thank you very much for uh, watching this video